All right, what's up, guys? Um, I got my Braum racing harness in. I'm not gonna be able to put it in right now because I gotta go to work in like 45 minutes. So, and I have to go pick up Julie from work or school. So I gotta do that and then go to work. So I'm not gonna be putting it in until later, but I'm gonna unbox it and show you guys. Okay, so here's the bar. <coughs> it's all wrapped up. Brown sticker. All right, I'm gonna tear the shit off. So here's everything that comes with it, the bar itself, the supports, there's two things, a sticker and hardware. So there's the bar. And like I said, we'll get it installed later tonight. Um, it's not hard, it'll take me 10 minutes. All right guys, I'm back. Um, apparently they didn't need me at work, so I'm gonna do the harness bar. I already have this bolt undone because it was loose for some reason, so I just took it out. Um, but it's really easy. I already have it all undone, so it's that bolt, that bolt, and then that bottom bolt right there, and then obviously these ones. And then I have to reattach my harness. I just have it zip tied right here so they're not fucking hanging down. And these are, these were zip tied together because there's not a bar like on the new one to hold it where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bolts for that. I, I forget what they are, I think they're 17s. Um, and then we're just gonna get this bar done. All right, to get this bottom bolt off right here on the seat belt, Focus, there we go. To get that bolt off, you have to take this bracket off right here. It's just this one bolt right here. Um, there's usually plastic on that. I have it off because I wasn't putting it back on. There's like a plastic cover that goes right here. Um, but it's really easy to take off, it just pops right off. I just left it off because I knew I was gonna be changing this again. But yeah, you just gotta take that bracket off. Okay, now in my car, I only have one harness, clearly. Um, sorry, I have one harness in my car. So this side, you have to, when you're, if you're installing this all at once, you have to make sure that you don't forget to put the bottom left side of the lap part on your harness. Put that in right here where the um, bottom part of the seatbelt connects. I just have it going back there so my fucking thing's not going off. But if you have two harnesses, I'm going to eventually buy another one for the other side. But you just put that other one right there with the um, bottom part of that support bar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this part apart and then we're gonna go and do the top part of the harness. All right, so the bar's in. Um, it's fairly easy to do the top ones and pretty self-explanatory as well. Just put the bolt through that top seatbelt mount. I don't do anything with this side because I don't use my normal seatbelt, but that side I leave it up just because there's no harness over there yet. But I need to do a little bit of adjustments. Um, I need to make this side longer, this post, and then I need to fix that top mount thing. It's a little um, too straight, if you want to say, for the mounting. I need to adjust it a little bit. But other than that, it's fairly easy. Um, I'll get back to you guys once I have, once I'm ready to do the harnesses. I'll show you guys how I mount my harnesses. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how I do my harnesses. Uh, first thing you want to do, make sure your seat's set up where you want to be sitting. Second, take this, I, don't, I forget what they're called, but just take that, slide it on. Make sure you leave yourself enough slack go under fuck, over the bar pull it through go through this first one pull it tight and then go back through this one right here the top of it I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. I don't have anywhere to set up the camera, so this is the best I can really do right now. Um, so you just go through there, pull that, pull tight. Make sure this is tight when you're doing it. And then to 
get rid of this to like kind of lock it in there you go back through this last one right here here go back through this bottom part right here with this back through and that'll keep it from coming loose again so that's how I do my harnesses and I just fold this up, take a zip tie and I'll zip tie them together. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. All right, so I just finished putting uh, the rest of the bar in, so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. There it is. I think it looks sick with the red harnesses. Um, it sucks that I'm getting rid of my red, we red wheels because that's why I did the red bar, but I think I'm just gonna keep like doing the red accents because I am getting white wheels, so I think it'll look good. She's filthy as hell. There's the harnesses, they're Corbo, I don't remember if I told you guys or not. Thank you guys for watching this, it's like kind of my first time doing a video like this. Um, I'll try to do more, possibly, if I buy more car parts that I want to do myself. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one, peace. Mama told me, little, I won't be shit. I told a bitch, I could move.